Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Um, wow, I'm blowing out my fucking microphone. Let me turn that down just a little bit. doop a doo There we go. That should be a little better. Nope, it won't. How about we turn it down a little bit more? Uh, I'm returning to this after not recording it for a little while. Minus three decibels, that's probably fine, right? Um, so you can see that uh, I'm, I last played this before October was even happening. I'm not even sure where I last saved. 14, 18. Here, right? Got the Glock. Jesus. So I had some reasons for uh, not wanting to return. Included or is, uh, was that? What the? F oh boy. Something odd is happening. Okay, I think it should be fine. All right. I've had an odd sort of recording session. I somehow got lost, forgot where I was going, and uh, backtracked to a previous level. I'm not sure how that happened. Um... I've also taken a few attempts against this fella. And I think that he just goes away whenever you go in here. Which is kind of weird, right? There we go. Um. See, so yeah, then we got this door. I seem to have misplaced all my melee weapons. And yeah, this little alleyway leads to a Michael Myers. A lot of bikes back here. And then this leads back out to here. Which is kind of weird. Um, the fact that I have a place that leads back to, uh, you know, a previous area means that I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I'm not even sure if I am on the right chapter. <laughs> oh, that's why he goes away. Because you're supposed to pull this. Yeah, you're supposed to pull that, which will stop him from chasing you, but also he'll just stop chasing you if you go back there. I learned these things are actually called sand because they are full of sand. They, uh, you're meant to put them on your driveway or whatever, whenever it's snowy out because, you know, Poland, Sweden, Netherlands, snowy countries. So now I can safely peruse these dark back alleys. I don't know if it'll get me anything. What in God's name was that? I've been encountering an odd bug and or glitch wherein um, when I load back into the game I don't know why that scared me. That really shouldn't have. Um, when I load back into the game Simon will be like dragged essentially as though one of the one of the keys is stuck down. It's irritating, but I can parse it at least. I'm going to attempt to not uh, take too long with this game. So that means that I am going to start doing uh, longer episodes. 
Because I've got a lot of stuff I want to play. I've already planned ahead like a few LPs. Okay, now I'm not so sure where I'm actually meant to go. And like, there's not even enemies this way, which makes me feel as though I've... Okay, yeah. Uh, which makes me feel as though I've gone down an incorrect path. Because normally finding enemies means that you have, at the very least, found a path of resistance. Meaning that you have a challenge. And challenges are what one would expect in gameplay. So you have definitely been here. It's not as though I have another key item or something, right? Wait, hold on. What was that? Reach Hanson Square through Saxon Avenue. Well, I've got this thing. Didn't I already get this? Did I forget to save? Oh, man, I am so lost. Any chance I can dual wield this? I can indeed. For all the good it'll do me. I'm so fucking lost. I was really going back and forth on whether or not to scrap this episode. Yeah, I quit in the middle of that junking, uh, jump, jump. Maybe I should scrap this episode. I quit in the middle of that jumping puzzle last time because I was rather incensed with it. And I had already done this, in fact. But because of this game's use of save points, such as they are, I was unable to, you know, remember that I had stopped in the middle of something important. <sighs> Wait, no, it's this, this one. Got to keep remembering that there's actually no bonus for doing headshots, so why bother? See, the reason that this all looks familiar is because I just quit in the middle of doing it and didn't remember where I was. Oh boy, that's embarrassing. It's the thing about being an LP here, because sometimes I'm like, ah, I just want to be a lazy fuck. But like, I did accept this, this, you know, this duty, this role, if I may be so vain. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be an LP here. I'm going to fucking do shit. I'm going to grab the Vipper, because I do want to kill these fools. And now I can throw it away. Bye, Vipper. Probably shouldn't be sprinting. i got to save that run juice for... Uh, Might be able to hear my brother-in-law swearing in the background. He's playing Apex Legends. Uh, I gotta save my run juice for doing this dumbass jump. Hey, let's uh, get this started in here, huh? Okay. Normally I complain about protagonists where they're like so shitty that they can't run. Like, Simon can only run for, like, maybe 20 seconds. 
because I usually play games to like, you know, have some form of escapism. I would love to be able to run for like a minute straight while carrying a bunch of shit on my back. Like one Dova Keen. First name Dova, last name Keen. Are you kidding me? <sighs> but in the case of Simon, I don't mind it so much. Since he's a shitty teen, you know? Like he's explicitly an emo teen who can't run for a lot of reasons. Is there something over here? Nope, just a lightning glitch. Like, and, and besides, it's a survival horror game. Oh, boy. At least I found this. This makes that a lot be more bearable. But yeah, in a survival horror game, you're really meant to, you know, feel a fear. And so having a weak protagonist helps with that. I'm just going to double down on having this. Okay. Okay. Come on. Get your fat ass in this door, Simon. This fucking city needs more wheelchair accessible places. How would someone be able to get up here? Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, how about I just cut and come back whenever I'm done with this bullshit? Hey, we're back, I think. Yes, we are back. So, ironically, um, I actually, well, you know, let's go with this old classic. I actually did it on the next attempt. Assuming, of course, I don't fuck it up right here, right now. Look at that. Hmm. I wonder if you can throw away your gun and replace it with one of their guns. That'd be kind of interesting, right? So yeah, there really wasn't a need to cut, although having the mic uh, and recording off really did make it feel a little easier. Hmm. How about we get one of these? You know, I used to live in an apartment called Remington. Our deadline's wearing you down. Can't find the drive to get the job done. The Ma team. <laughs> it's a safe point. Now everyone will finally see. The best cure to depression. Citalopram. Academy Bohandelin <laughs> Polis E traffic Gun Can't get any more Glock ammo. Well in that case, I may as well reload this thing. Shabooms. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Afraid of monsters, director's cut. So yeah, that's the uh, developer's other game. Rabbits. Everyone loves rabbits. I mentioned that um, Gray was also a production by this team. Uh, that's actually false. I, uh, I just misremembered that. I looked up to see if they had done anything else, though. And as it happens, uh, they quit developing games and they're now a um this this group is now an indie band interesting career path i've got to say like developing one of the um developing a well-loved uh half-life mod and uh a honestly pretty decent horror game in its own right to developing uh indie music Why don't we go back and check, just to make sure. I've been recently rewatching uh, every single Silent Hill game. And man, 
you've got to grind yourself across every single. <laughs> Afraid of Monster's hoodie. That's funny. I didn't even know you could get those. This is an honestly very well lit environment. Is that Disney's The Little Mermaid? Can they show that? Oh, I'm in a cafe, of course. So they have artsy shit. Is that gorillas? Some food. It has the same one from over there. Um. God, what is that? Van Gogh? A uh, painting of Van Gogh, I should say. Is that Monet? Who's the guy what cut off his ear? Is that just a regular Coca-Cola bottle? Wait, wait. Let's let's take a look here. Coca. Coca. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Coca Coca is all right. Won't get sued that way. Monsters? I need a screwdriver to open this. And the door's one budge. Great. This game wouldn't happen to have a map, would it? Honestly, what makes or breaks a lot of survival horror games is how good their map is. As I mentioned, I was looking back at a lot of uh, Silent Hills, and fuck, Silent Hill had such a good map. Like, in Silent Hill, your guy just has a marker with him. Or a crown, in some cases. And if a door won't open, he'll just fucking cross it off. Automatically. Well, I got the screwdriver. See, these are almost more like a... This is like a classroom. Where the hell am I? Does Academo College or whatever it was mean College of Academics? I'm smart, right? Hmm. Hmm. See, I picked up the screwdriver and I was like, there should definitely be something jumping out at me. That's how these things work. Can't get back there. Okay, I guess we'll just go take the screwdriver over here. See, it's so well lit that I expect it to be a particularly bad scare. To rest to be used as a weapon. Oh, I remember this. See, there you go. So, I think that might be a unique enemy. I can't remember, though. All right. Might makes light, and I'm feeling mighty. Wow, this game is dark. With my phone light on, I can see just enough. But with a shotgun out, that makes it easier. This is a really effective sequence, actually. Really, really solid. Like, just the way that the lights drop out immediately. Okay. I'm starting to think that these monsters might not be uh, unique monsters. Just wanted to see you by the light of my gun. Alright. These. There we go. Boop. Yeah, because it's such a nice... Oh, that's funny. It's such a nice indoor environment that's well lit. And then you turn the lights out and everything goes to shit. And that rhymed. Wow. Look at me go. The door's crammed back in that corner in such a way that it almost makes me f think that they wanted to force you to go back there. Inventory full... What the fuck is this key for? Oh, great, more VP9 magazines. God, what should I draw? This is awful. Classroom key. 
<sighs> Guess I'm going back just so I can use this fucking key. Again, I'm talking about Silent Hill because it is a superior survival horror game. Shemin. Oh wow, that's an awesome enemy design. Now that I'm actually looking at it, like, the way that it, like, stumbles and shivers and crumples to the ground. Oh, that's a fantastic design. I mean, the design actually kind of sucks. Because it's, you know, just a man with what, what got no skin. But the design of it is so fantastic. Alright, now why did I come in here? <laughs> just dip my head in the trash can, that's why. Of course, the map of the world. Oh. Yeah, right. It's so interesting to see maps in other countries. Because you can see that America is more close to its actual size and it's distorted to make Europe look big like it's supposed to be. And like most people wouldn't think of that. Because I imagine they just don't notice or care, but like it's cool to look at. It's cool to think about. Okay. Seeing bullet holes in the wall. So what was the point of that? Huh. It's just to clear out more enemies? Get my score up? How strange. If I head back here, do I have the ability to put the fuse back in? Wait, this is an empty room. This is a closet. This is... This is a thing called a monster closet, everyone. It's a staple of old game design. Where, like, you can't teleport things in because the game engine is so shitty. So you gotta have monsters be somewhere. So what happens is, put them in a little monster closet. Okay, now where the fuck am I taking this thing? One moment, everyone. Alright, I went back to my walkthrough and I found out what the hell I was doing wrong. So, this thing... ...is a key for the emergency fire escape. As for where the hell that is, I don't know. But as the door somehow locks for some reason... Uh... As the door locks for some reason, I've got to find some way to get out of the building without using that. I'm really curious as to how this game really expects me to hold all this shit in my inventory. There we go, see? Easy peas. So while I'm doing this long run back, I actually uh, looked up the faceless enemy as well. Uh, which is the name of that skinless, jerky monster. I mean, jerky isn't its movements are jerky, but it does look like beef jerky. Except less delicious. Um, the model is actually a woman's model. It's a female enemy. Uh, considering the only other female in this game... Excuse me, sound like an incel there. The only other, the only uh, female character in this game, or woman in this game, is uh, Sophia, I believe. So that enemy could be related to her. We'll come back to that later. Hey, we're about. We've got the foos. Now, I think we can just hop down that little area. Uh, I w this is just pure coincidence, but last night I was reading about... Yep, you can see it. M October 19th. It's been a while since I played Cry of Fear. <laughs> Hence my rust. 
I really got to stop doing that. My lovely daughter has a break of like eight, like some implausible length of time. It's like, I was going to say eight weeks, but it might be more than that even. So I think we can just do this little hop here, right? And now we're back downstairs. Ooh, the rain's coming down. I just noticed. That's nice. Yeah, the pure coincidence, I was reading about Gnosticism last night. Or Gnosticism? I've only read the word, so I'm not sure of it. It ends in a C, but, you know. The Aeon who, uh, Aeons are the, you know, angel equivalent in Gnosticism. Let me start over. Gnosticism is a religion. Like Christianity. And in fact, it's based off of the same Abrahamic mythology that Christianity... Islam and Judaism is based off of. That's a noise I don't like. Let's get that out before we head back and face the world. Uh, in it, the god Abraxas, which is the name I use for him because I'm a fan of Homestuck. The God of Braxis creates the world, you know, as you do, and creates under gods to help him called Aeons. Aeons are, you know, your, your Titans, your Giants, your Vinor, etc. The ones below God. Oh, did it again. What is happening here? Is it this corner? Weird. I hope those have all been recorded because, man, it's going to be really weird to explain this to someone who hasn't seen the video. Anyway, one of the 12 Aeons is uh, one by the name of Sophia. And she uh, comes to Earth. And is the only Aeon on Earth. Okay. One moment, everyone. Hey, and we're back. Although for you, that time was almost nothing. Um, I just wanted to double check my recording to see how long it actually is. Uh, when I have a bunch of breaks in... Okay. When I have a bunch of breaks in the video like this... Uh, Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see what I, uh, where I should be. What the hell? Is that music? It's spooky music, if something. Yeah, let's just overwrite all these saves. Why not, right? A lot of these hallways in here. Like, it would make sense if the game world was meant to, like, connect in real space to itself. But I don't know if that was a, a idea for it. I think that's the unique enemy. So you can see that it's got way more heads than a human is meant to. And way, way more eyes. See, so yeah, it's just this weird fucking unique enemy. Stairs. Okay, now, we just need to fucking shove this fuse in somewhere. <sighs> that actually gave me a good spooky. That was pretty good. Solid. Okay, this is the start of the area. Meaning I can now go through here. No. Nice. Still got my visions. I mean, the, the one vision I don't have, you know, more sight than the average human's supposed to have. It's a deal I'd take, you know? Like, if I could lose my eye to, um... I think 
fees of the stairs, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I came in at the wrong place on the walkthrough. That's why I confused myself. I must have. Okay. Bring the fuse to Saxon Avenue. Great. Pasnonic. Shillops. And the phone touse. No see. <laughs> oh man. This game isn't bad. It's rough and it needs work. But it isn't bad. Depression? Wait, this thing is still running? If the electricity in here is so solid that... Right. That's where I lost the nightstick. Oh, God. God, what if I just picked up a fucking grenade? It's gold source. Grenades are in here. Okay. Better have a look on those maps. I live in Kirkville, so I need to head there somehow. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna move my microphone. Everyone stay calm. Where the fuck is Kirkville? Odin level. Kirkville's here, okay. I gotta get on the green line. Saxon Avenue. Okay, so that's on the green line. So I just gotta take it all the way through to Kirkville. Oh boy. So she plunges her uh, knives into her head when she dies, meaning that she kills herself. And it's another enemy, Ding-a-ling-ling, -ling, that uh, kills themselves. Because uh, suicide is a the theme of this game. Can I? Oh, that's new tech. The door. Oh, for fuck's sake. New task. Find a quarter so you can use the turnstiles. What? Yeah, my torso just passes through them. Oh, that's funny. Because I was going forward, I, I, I like tripped down it. Hold on. Naughty girls for you. Best bang for a single buck I've ever had. Fast, discreet, naughty. Call Danny Low 1031. Oh, remember, AIDS. Don't use morphine needles you find lying out in the street. I You know, it's one of those it's it's honestly like of one of those great spike and barley play depression <laughs> I don't know what these are selling that's a car I would honestly love if there was like oh stub my toe oh <laughs> from the creators of cry of fear intimidated by abnormalities Enrique Iglesias and Daniel, I can't even read the rest of that, directed by, oh, that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Again, not wheelchair accessible. There's no ramp here. Okay. Okay. 
I think I got turned around in here. I sure did. I think so, at least. Ah, oh, okay. Did I get turned around? No, they're just identical on either side. Okay. Which means that now I have gotten turned around because I don't know where I'm meant to be going. No entry? Whatever, man. Can't walk down there. Can't walk down there. I guess I'll go up this way. Wish there were more landmarks. I think this is new. Yeah, this is new. I always love when uh, things in games are like very specifically relevant to a protagonist. Oh boy. Like I would love if all the all the ads in this game were hints about Simon. Okay. Oh shit. Shit, shit. Fuck shit. Okay, so the way that that girl works is that if you attack her with a gun equipped, she'll force you to shoot yourself. Let's see if we can get a good look at her. I think we might have even seen her in the past. But if you don't have a gun equipped, it's not really a problem. Where'd she go? Because, hey, suicide's a theme in this game. What's funny is that because of the way that uh, gun reloading uh, mechanics work, you can try to shoot yourself with an empty gun, which is kind of... Oh, there she is. Oh, there's a baby in her. And it's got a knife. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I mean, the game's just giving me Glock ammo, so I may as well, like keep this thing full all right another cheerful day in Sweden I'm not sure about the baby that's kind of weird right because the 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 woman part makes sense. The fact that there's a baby in her is just kind of weird. You know, I don't know if I've died once to just running out of health. I think everything that's killed me has been through a one-hit kill. Just scoping out, casing the joint. Making diddly damn sure. Oh, this one too? Oh, God, don't tell me I'm going to have to go through that door locked with an electric lock to unlock that door with an electric lock. Video games, everyone. I was like, huh, I wonder why there's no enemies on the way back. Well, that's patently obvious. Really good shot of Simon's scars there. Oh, come on, let me through. I'm going to miss my train. I already walked past it, didn't I? Oh, boy. God! You know what? Hey, guys, I'll see you next episode after I get to that fucking door. I'm an Alfred. This has been Cry of Fear. <laughs>